Okay, so I've been meaning to make a video like this for a long time, and I've been getting a few messages like this, and it just keeps reminding me that I need to make this video. Um, but let's get started. So if you are a YouTuber and you make videos, or you're a viewer and you see in the description of a video something like this, and you're wondering what that means, this right here, uh, I'm going to explain all of that in this video, but especially if you're a YouTuber, you should probably watch this just to if, if you post any videos on YouTube ever then this is probably a good video to watch um, just for things to consider so I had a video that I don't know if you would call it viral or semi-viral or whatever but it got a few hundred thousand views in the span of a day or whatever um, and it has over half a million views now which is a lot more than most of the other videos or any of the other videos on my channel. Obviously, if you're a Casey Neistat or something, then you make a lot more, get a lot more views, but we'll just call this a viral video. For a small YouTuber, it's a viral video. And uh, I will get into what that video here is in a second, but I get messages like this. So you can see this is over a year ago, about a year and a half ago, and uh, I kept getting some videos like this. I blacked out their names and pictures just to uh, protect privacy and also keep these people from getting more publicity. So this guy comments on a video and this guy leaves a comment on this. I don't know this guy. He just commented on my video. And then some other guy who works for this company commented on his comment to remind me that he sent me an email because he wants to license a video that I have that at the time was about to go viral. So they don't even just comment on the video that's about to go viral. They want to, I guess, leave you in suspense or whatever and give them a little more negotiating power. Just in case you didn't catch their first email, their fourth email, their phone call, their follow-up phone call, they're contacting you on social media. Just in case you missed any of that, they comment on a whole bunch of your other videos and uh, they leave stuff like this. Here's another one. Different company uh, comments on my video. And then they send you a private message. Here's the video that went viral. For lack of a better term, GoPro Karma falls out of sky. And yes, I realize that viral is probably means millions of views, but so that I don't have to be super technical. From here on out, viral just means way more views, half a million views. It means this video I'm talking about. And uh, here's a longer message. So this is a private message on YouTube, not a comment. And uh, these people explain things a little more. They want to promote the video. They want to grant a perpetual worldwide license what does all that mean? Big words. Let's go to this link right here. So I've already loaded it up. And this is their contract. And I'm sure they send you another one. But this is sort of what they do. And I was just skimming through it. I never licensed my video. But your content, what we are allowed to do. And then your content, what you are not allowed to do. And some of this, you know, it makes a little sense. You shouldn't have malicious stuff, but I mean, let's be real. They want you to sign a contract that says they're allowed to do stuff and you're not allowed to do stuff. And uh, you can read through this if you want, but let's be honest. Oh, and then there's this uh, terminating registration. They can suspend or terminate. I'm going to guess you probably can't. And uh, for some of these companies, you can't just terminate the contract and they can. So, let's uh, let's analyze this video a little bit. So, so they they want to promote your video. It's the same with all of these. There's other messages. They all want to promote your video, and they send these messages before the video goes viral, or hopefully right before it goes viral. That's their plan. Identify a video that will go viral, get this guy in a contract, and then suck up his money. And if we look, so for example, uh, November 9th, I did have some emails before that, but I can't find them now. So 
this is what happens on November 9th, um, November 10th. You can go back and look at the dates if you want. Uh, I did get an email, I believe, on the 6th or something. Again, this was a while ago and I couldn't find it. Someone was offering me, one of these companies was offering me 20 bucks for the rights to the video. $20. And if we go back and look right here, um, obviously if someone offers you 20 bucks for a video that has, I don't know how many views here, maybe 100, 400. I mean, it doesn't even show up on the, the uh, graph. That's what it makes sense because you're not going to get that many views. 400 uh, views isn't 20 bucks, so you make some money there. This isn't about you making money. It's about them making money, their business. And their job is to buy low and then sell high. It's just like the stock market. So here we go. And uh, obviously, half a million views is way more than 20 bucks. And then if you do agree to a contract, which I never did, you see something like this on your video because you no longer are licensing or granting permission for use. These guys are. So, um, again, it makes sense. It makes sense before your video goes viral. And I remember it was probably this night right here looking at my video and seeing a few hundred views on it every hour. And thought that was really cool. Every hour I got a few hundred views. That's more than I was getting on YouTube before that. I mean, I had like 30 views a month on YouTube before this video did this. So this was doing really well. It was really cool. And then, uh, then this happened. And I remember making a bet with my friends. Would I hit 50,000? I thought it would be cool if, you know, I hit 50,000 in the, uh, the next month or whatever. But you get surprised and sometimes this happens. And if that happens, then, uh, then you lose, you lose out. And, uh, oh, one more thing. When they, a lot of these companies, they say they're going to promote your video, you know, promoting your video, stuff like that. If we just go here and go to YouTube and we search GoPro Karma Crash, um, obviously this isn't really going to work now because it's been so long, uh, but you can do all the research you want. If we go by upload date, then... Uh, Ooh, this guy stole my video. I have to file a claim. Let's go to view count. So, uh, my video is number two now. This really has nothing to do with with uh, the GoPro Karma crash. But as far as I am aware, my video has more views than any other video on the GoPro Karma crash. And some people licensed their videos, and others didn't. And uh, they, some people signed with these companies that were supposed to promote their video. I didn't. I know uh, this guy right here didn't. I'll leave a link to his video. But, just so I'm not stealing uh, or accused of it. You don't see anywhere here about licensing. So this guy... Looks like he's got the second most views now. I haven't really done the research, but uh, at 565k currently, I have the most views. This isn't really bragging. I'm just saying like these people that say they're going to promote your video, maybe they do it some, on some other uh, source, but as far as YouTube goes, they're not really promoting it. I've seen some videos where uh, people who did sign with these companies want out of the contract. They, uh, and I guess these companies, I've heard they take part of your ad revenue, which doesn't really make a whole lot of sense to me, um, at least from a YouTuber standpoint. If I'm this company, of course I would take ad revenue and try and maximize profits, but anyway, these are just my thoughts.
um, just some things to know about because I'm sure whenever you uh, post a video and you see someone's offering you 20 bucks and you just go and sign the contract, then uh, yeah, that's not really, uh, you know, where it says what you are not allowed to do, what we are allowed to do, um, stuff like that. So those are just my thoughts. If you're going to sign, read through the contract, consider that this could end up happening and that when you're signing a contract, your video could be this popular, whereas the very next day it could be this popular and you don't need a company to help you do that. The YouTube algorithm is much more powerful than any of these companies. And I mean, how many of these have you heard of? I haven't really heard of many of them. So there it is. Words of wisdom, thoughts. If you have any questions or comments, or if you signed with any of these companies or thought about it or have any experience with them, with licensing your YouTube video, leave a comment below. Let's get a discussion going, and uh, this will be the end of my nice long ramble.